Hey guys, Carlos here from Angler Snap Style. It's been about six weeks since I've had my cardiac intervention and I haven't done so much video since then because you know, I've been resting. Anyway, in between uh, that time, uh, I've done some fishing trips and I've had some issues that I have to deal with physically and medically. I'm fortunate enough that I'm surrounded with friends and nice anglers that are willing to help on a uh, situation where I needed their help the most. Anyway, it started out like this. Anyway, we decided to go fishing this morning after a rainstorm and uh, my car said 39 degrees. Anyway, here at Sandy Bull, you can pretty much see a lot of things. You know, you've got the, the resident eagles, you've got ospreys, you've got coots, you've got cormorants, and um, you know, sometimes you see gliders. But the, what's interesting today is uh, what I'm seeing is, check this out. There's snow caps right there. Isn't that amazing? snow caps unreal it is that cold right so here we are at sandy wool it's so pretty it's so nice and green and usually this is where the eagle is at let me show you and there he is there's the eagle uh, hopefully we'll be successful uh, fishing this morning. I'm gonna be fishing with my friend Christy and of course I'm fishing with uh, Janet as well. She only has a couple of hours to go fishing with me. Um, so anyway, uh, wish us luck. Stay tuned. <laughs> you can play with it for a little bit, but I don't know if it's hooked. Oh, it is hooked. <laughs> Good morning. Did I get it on a lip hook? I did, check it out. Look at that. Put it up against my camera so I can see it. Look at that, guys. That's called a lip hook. <laughs> oh, there. Take it off? Yes, you did. All right. That's the best way to unhook it. Okay, but you gotta hold this thing in. There we go. <laughs> Finally, huh? This is on the. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> Yep. Wow, he's pulling. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Let's bring him in. Ooh, very nice. Oh, green. Go. <laughs> oh, see, there's my alarm. I knew it. Good size, good size. Let's take a picture of it. No, no, with, with the uh, with the hook. I mean, with the with the worm on the thing. Oh, came off. Oh, came off. What's that? Yeah, she used a uh, bobber with uh, with a worm on it. So I started the day fishing with my wife Janet, and then later on, uh, my friend Christy joined us. Uh, to fish as well and it was her first time uh, using the mini jig and so I taught her anyway let me show you what she did shortly after there you go <laughs> now you believe it <laughs> so how did it feel I didn't feel it I just smelt the floor and I pulled <laughs> okay okay well then there you go Put that on your uh, stringer. Eventually you'll get one. Mm -hmm. Let's see, hold it up. I could put him in my fish tank, he's so small. <laughs> you want to take it home? Pan fry it? I could. Yeah, you can. I could. Do you want me to pop it off now? Yeah. You want a picture with it? No. Your first jig picture? Yeah. There. <laughs> okay. Go put it on your stringer. Here, let me uh, let me hold the rod. Do you have a stringer here? I'll just put it on yours. No, it's not. 
Just go, go put it in your stringer. <laughs> I like a girl that can hold fish just like that, huh? That's the kind of girl you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the same fish that have been picking on my line for like a few. <laughs> she got it first. There you go. Christy's figuring it out now. She's Miss Jigger. <laughs> oh, there you go. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we uh, continued fishing during the day and eventually uh, my wife Janet had to leave uh, to go to work. I stayed on for a bit. I continued fishing with a few of the anglers out there uh, on the lake. And, um, and of course, eventually Christy had to leave as well. Anyway, so I started to uh, pretty much take it easy and stop uh, the casting and retrieve type of technique. And so I switched to bottom fishing. And shortly after, uh, I started to catch some fish as well using bottom fishing. So let me show you that. <laughs> okay, dude, you win, man. <laughs> oh my god, really? Seriously? Is that a baby lass? And look, he's been bitten by a... Uh... <laughs> hey Grace! Okay. Green pumpkin. Do you have it? I'll give you guys some. Hold on. Nice, a good size. Question is. No, <laughs> I'm bottom fishing.
I just got this one. Anyway, and so after catching a few of these uh, uh, fish uh, using bottom fishing, and I didn't expect uh, to catch this fish at all, um, I uh, met this uh, gentleman, his name is Frank, and he started to uh, teach me how to use a uh, um, drop shot with a little grub to uh, fish the, the newly planted, you know, larger uh, tr trouts out there. So. I wasn't quite sure how I was feeling then, but it was kind of getting late in the day and I started to pack my stuff and um, get ready to get out of there. But it was quite interesting as far as uh, trying to catch this fish uh, using the drop shot method with the grub. And so, you know, I stayed for a little bit longer, but that was a bad, bad thing to do. Uh, it's been a long day, uh, it was cold, and I haven't had much uh, food to eat uh, that day, and so I started to feel a little uh, uh, dizzy, and thereafter, though, it uh, turned to the worst. So to make the long story short, I ended up uh, um, needing a few of the anglers help, and thank goodness for the help of uh, Scott. Uh, he is a, um, uh, the resident fly fisherman I'm sure you've seen them when everybody else is not catching Scott is catching them with the with the uh, uh, the fly fishing gear similarly uh, Andy uh, was there as well he was uh, my inspiration as far as uh, uh, jigging uh, I met him uh, the first time up at Shadow Cliff and uh, he was my inspiration in learning how to use mini jig Anyway, thanks to these guys who stayed and helped me that day. Uh, I was able to uh, regain uh, my strength. And in fact, they went uh, an extended length of time and stayed with me and actually even uh, drove me home. Uh, Scott drove my car home and Andy followed as well. Anyway, Scott went around looking for food that I can consume uh, just to raise my sugar level and uh, you know increase my blood pressure. And uh, what he found was this nice family who shared half a sandwich and some grapes and a can of soda. Uh, I wanted to thank you, uh, whoever that family is, for helping me out. And again, for Scott, uh, for uh, taking care of me. And for Andy, who uh, uh, graciously even went down the hill to get cell signal to notify my wife and uh, to make sure that if we had to call 911 that I would get the help and support that I need. But uh, he, he uh, wrapped me up with a pink Bass Pro uh, blanket. And so anyway, these guys just went well beyond their, their capacity to help somebody uh, who is in distress, who is in duress. So I wanted to thank these guys from the bottom of my heart. And the next time you see them, Please, please, do tell them thank you because you don't know what type of angels are out there and these guys are definitely being led by an angel to take care of somebody like me. So for, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, Scott, and thank you, Andy. And I hope this video, you know, kind of gives everybody that inspiration and hope that there are good people out there. So anyway, as always, come fish with us sometime. See ya.